Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of missed abortion, also called missed miscarriage, with pregnancy of about 11 and a half weeks. Although a variety of terms are used to describe early pregnancy failure, in the presence of clear-cut sonographic evidence that a non-living embryo is present, the term embryonic demise should apply. Message term must be applied before the 10 weeks of the gest gestational age. After 10 weeks, it will be called fetal demise. Ultrasound diagnosis of miscarriage should only be considered when either a mean gestational sac diameter is equal to or more than 25 mm with no obvious yolk sac or a fetal pole with a crown rump length of equal to or more than 7 mm without evidence of fetal cardiac activity. Transvaginal ultrasound is the mainstay in the diagnosis of miscarriage. So, a missed abortion is a non-viable intrauterine pregnancy that has been retained within the uterus without spontaneous abortion. Typically, no symptoms exist beside amenorrhea and the patient finds, uh, finds out that the pregnancy stopped developing earlier when the fetal heart rate is not observed or heard at the appropriate time. An ultrasound usually confirms the diagnosis. You can see the fetus inside the gestation sac, but there are no fetal movements. As you know, at 11 and a half weeks of gestational age, the fetal movements must be visible, but in this case, as there are no fetal movements, and as you will see further in this video, that there is no fetal cardiac activity and no blood flow is seen inside the gestation sac. In addition to signs of fetal life on sonography, subchorionic bleeding is an important factor affecting the outcome of gestations in patients with clinical threat and abortion. The most common cause of first trimester spontaneous abortion is fetal chromosomal abnormalities. While most practitioners wait until at least six weeks to perform the first ultrasound, a gestation sac can be seen as early as four and a half weeks after the last period. A heartbeat can be detected as early as five to six weeks, though it might not be detectable that early in all cases. A missed abortion is a missed miscarriage in which the fetal didn't form or fetal demise had occurred, but the placenta and embryonic tissues are still in the uterus. uterus. It is known more commonly as missed miscarriage. It is also sometimes called a silent miscarriage. A missed abortion is not an elective abortion. Missed miscarriage means that the baby has stopped growing or there is fetal demise, but there are no miscarriage symptoms such as bleeding or pain. It can also be called a delayed miscarriage. Some women do not experience any symptoms or of miscarriage at all. However, a possible miscarriage signs beside bleeding include mild to severe cramps, pain in back or abdomen, Loss of pregnancy symptoms such as nausea or vomiting, white pinkish uh, mucus, passing tissue or clot-like material. To make the diagnosis with the ultrasound, the findings may include but not limited to the absence of fetal pole, lack of growth of fetal pole, fetal pole with no evident cardiac activity, lack of yolk sac at the appropriate gestational age, D-shaped yolk sac or placental separation. The umbilical cord forms by the fifth week of development replacing the yolk sac 
as the source of nutrient for the embryo umbilical cord is a cord that connects the developing baby to the mother in utero the umbilical cord attaches to the baby at abdomen and to the mother at the placenta the cord forms during the fifth week of gestation that is seventh week of pregnancy in cases of fetal demise in that fetus that has been in the uterus for four weeks can cause changes in the body's clotting system you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks